sister is married to my mother's brother. So Ine and I share the same cousins. We have the same first cousins. And during up in our small part of life, you know, I would like you, everyone of you, to like imagine one one part of life where everybody knows each other. We come in the 1960s. We know each other. We were viewers are relatives. Neighbors and friends and consider our relatives. And no one boy. The one thing that I remember, the only thing I remember of him was that when I was in college, and I was like studying at St. Mary University, and every weekend and I home, and then on one boy was uh, like, can you imagine that you didn't this much Every day, every weekend, every Friday, even if it's night or rainy, going home to my own family, you know, I think it was like, oh, I am safety. Because no one boy, and I can always get a ride, because I also like to move, like, ride a journey, commute to your mother and I from the city. So, in my heart, in my mind, I will, I will never forget this man. Maybe there's a, a baby at the time. It's like, I will always say to myself, oh, I can always get a ride. Because the moment no one boy will see me, he would be finally called him a no one boy. I don't even know. He's a young baby, but I only know him no more So, no more boy will be like, the moment he saw me, and he did, most of us, all of our barangays in Ireland and our way in the Indian the moment he saw us, it's like, he would run. He would run to the gym, he would like, transfer to the gym, going to the province. Like, he would run, run on back, and like, facilitate us so that we can be able to Right, the gym day when it was full. It's like, oh, no, give me, give me, this is so that I ride, he's going home for his family, for his family. And I will never, ever forget that. Because with him and the current duty station, I felt safe that I can go home safely. And I'm glad that, in a set, that it's a day for me. Because if you pull out people, that is a little bit younger men. And this little girl, girl said bye. That's how we are. It's all. Maybe I am just one of the students, or I am just one of the community neighbors that he served us. We all of them say. And growing up, fast forward, I saw him. It's like, I always tell him, yet I am giving you a chance to honor you as a daughter. Because I don't see how hard she tried to praise her dad. How we wish that every, she did not have every parent's dream of a daughter. That, like, honoring her parents, giving, him, giving them the tour of her life, the vacation of her life. And yet, I am, I am given a chance to, like, acknowledge this in our barangay with the because. I want to inspire the children, the new children of this generation to be like them, to be like, and to, to enjoy, right? What we have been enjoying, but it's not to say we are not able to do that, but I know in the world life, it is already known what how they need, what they need to go to their friends. And yet, in that, I am so proud of you, you are a successful daughter, and wherever she is, He was a proud, happy, and complete that because let us face it, we as parents, our our completeness as a parent is measured on how our children respond to us and give us back. Although it's not our duty, it's not our we are not obligated, but if you do that, you make your parents more very happy and complete. So yet your dad died. Happy, complete, joyful, and blessed.